Hello friends, this video on P block elements part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more PA from exam. Now let's talk about the reactions with oxygen. See these uh, group 15 elements, they form two types of oxides. They form two types of oxides with uh, group 15 elements that is E2O3 is one oxide form and E2O5 is another oxide form. For example, N2O5, right? P2O5, these are all examples, but these are two different forms of oxides. Right? So for a given element, the oxide in higher oxidation state is more acidic than oxides in the lower oxidation state for a given element. So if you see in this case, the oxidation state is what? It is uh, plus 3. In this case, it is plus 5. Right? So this has higher oxidation state. So this is more acidic. So for example, if you can't compare N2O5 and N2O3, N2O5 will be more acidic. Okay? Now, if you talk about the acidic character, it decreases down the group. It decreases down the group. This is more acidic. When oxides, I'm talking about the acidic character of uh, acidic oxide. And this is less acidic. So, acidic character decreases down the group. Right? For example, if you see the oxides of phosphorus and nitrogen they are they are acidic for example my p2o4 n2o5 they are all acidic right if you talk about the oxides of arsenic and antimony they are amphoteric for example my as2o3 or sb2o3 these are all amphoteric if we talk about the oxides of uh, bismuth, that is basic actually. BiO23, it is basic. BiO23. Correct? These, are, these oxides are acidic, for example, N2O5, P2O5. These are acidic, and then we have amphoteric oxides, and then we have basic oxide. Okay? So that's all about my acidic and basic behavior of these oxides the st uh, starting ones are acidic then amphoteric and then basic if we talk about the thermal stability the thermal stability increased down the group this is more stable thermally So one thing is clear as you go down the group from acid amphoteric to basic and also the thermal stability increases as we go down the group. Okay. So we can take some reaction to see the acidic and basic behavior. For example, as I told N2O3 or N2O5 and P2O5 are acidic. So let's see this reaction. I have N2O3. It will react just with water to form HNO2. My P2O3 will also react with water to form H3PO3. So if you see, it shows acidic behavior, strong acidic behavior. If you talk about amphoteric, then it means that it will react only with base. If it is acidic, it will react both with acid and base, right? If it is now amphoteric, so let's see this AS2O3 and yeah, these AS2O3 will react with both with acid and base. For example, it reacts with base. It will form a compound. Right? That is my basic reaction. If you react this guy AS2O3 with acid also, it will react and it will form correct ASCL3 natural. If you see, this proves my amphoteric behavior. Right? If 
these proves my apoptotic behavior and these proves my acidic behavior if we talk about base we told let's suppose i take bio3 it will react with uh, bio2o3 react with scl because the base it will react with acid it will form bicl3 and water correct so with this we can show that these are acidic these are amphoteric and this is basic okay Now since nitrogen is special, I told, let's discuss all oxides of nitrogen. N2O, my nitrous oxide, oxidation state is my plus one, and this is my colorless gas. Nitrous oxide. We talk about NO, the oxidation state is plus two. Nitric oxide is again colorless gas. We talk about N2O3. It is my dinitrogen trioxide, the oxidation state is plus 3. It is pale blue solid. Right? If we talk about NO2, that is my nitrogen dioxide, oxidation state is plus 4, and this is brown gas. We talk about N2O4, dinitrogen tetroxide, oxidation state is here again plus 4, this is again a colorless gas. We talk about N2O5, oxidation state will be plus 5, this is my dinitrogen pentoxide, this is my colorless solid. So these are my some important oxides of nitrogen, good to remember. N2O3 is pale blue solid, NO2 is brown gas, we have used this, uh, you must have used this in the labs and uh, again N2O5 is my colorless solid, dinitrogen pentoxide and other are all my colorless gas. Thank you. Visit examfia.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.